everybody, I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Um, we'll get right into it. Um, when are you guys going to get this through your head? Raw is law. Raw is the supreme diet. You have to eat raw if you're going to get to where you're trying to get to. <laughs> now, if you watch me a little bit, you know I'm being facetious here. Um, I'm, I have a lot of tolerance, and I actually uh, believe in uh, people using cooked foods. Um, I guess I should explain, just so some of the real raw, the fully raw people don't misunderstand me either. It's not that I don't believe in this lifestyle. I eat mostly raw. I go to the States, I have my experiments, but when I'm in my day-to-day -day life, when I'm here in Costa Rica, I'm eating pretty much 100% raw. So, yes, I feel, and I'm going to say it, for me, I feel that raw is the, is the best diet for me at this time, at my stage in my journey with what I know and with how I feel. But, you know, there's too many, I, I watch videos all the time with the hardcore people saying, you know, raw till four doesn't work. Um, you can't lose weight on raw till four. You'll gain weight on raw till four. Um, you won't experience as vibrant health on raw till four. You won't detox as much on raw till four. Raw till four is inferior. And quite frankly, I'm calling bullshit on that. Um, it, it, the, one of the messages I'm going to keep preach over and over and over, keep preaching over and over, is eating clean. Um, now, granted, all raw till four, from what I've seen, is not created equally. Um, you know, you can't, in my opinion, yeah, you're not doing the best for yourself if you're eating raw all day and then eating questionable things at night. But, you know, once again, it's just all about how clean you're eating. There's, some, there's people out there doing raw till four. There's people in the YouTube world. Some of my favorite people that I follow are doing raw till four. Um, a lot of the raw till four people actually enjoy watching and I kind of take a little bit more from than I do some people that are fully raw. Um, two people that uh, I've mentioned both of them before, I think I've mentioned one more than the other, two that I really recommend because they eat extremely clean and um, they always have great recipes. Well, number one, she always, it's a couple, it's Happy Healthy Vegan, it's Ryan and Angie. And um, God, I hope it's Angie. I'm horrible with names. It's Ryan and Angie. I know Ryan, Angie, if I'm missing, if I miss that, sorry, I'm a senile old dude. But help, Happy Healthy Vegan. Um, she does a lot of the recipes. Ryan talks a lot about the science of the food and just talks about the lifestyle in general. They're very active. He's a runner. She does yoga. They're not crazy fanatic athletes, but they eat extremely well. They do it, you know, I follow them on uh, Instagram too. They post a lot of uh, stuff from Fruit Lux that they do around the area. They get, they eat uh, probably way more organic than I do. And when they eat their cooked at night, her recipes are just pristine. They don't use oil, they don't use salt. I'm pretty sure they don't use them at all. Um, but if so, they use very little. But I'm 99% sure they don't use uh, oil and salt. And I'm sorry, I just couldn't see anybody really faulting their diet too much. Um, another one is plant-based athlete. Plant-based athlete, all one word. Happy, healthy, vegan, all one word. Um, He's a, well, like he says, he's a 42-year-old guy, I believe, and he does uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I don't know what level he competes at, but the guy's in phenomenal shape. He's built like a brick of shit. I mean, he's big. He's not big, like massive, but he's, he's muscular. The guy, the guy's in shape. Whatever he's doing, ain't nobody can watch his channel and say it's not working for him. Um, and on the other hand, you have a lot of people that are fully raw. Like today, I've got some Pinterest work. I don't, I don't use Pinterest as much as I do other social media, but I had a meeting with my boss yesterday. And even though I'm not handling our Pinterest account, we kind of have our social media split up, and I'm, using, I'm doing Twitter and Google+. Plus. But he was showing me some tricks and stuff on uh, Pinterest, and I just got in a Pinterest state of mind, and I was on Pinterest last night. And I found some good stuff, and I really found some stuff that was beneficial, but so much in the really, like with the best photos and the most publicized and the most polished look, it's, it's full of fat. I mean, you don't know how many peanut butter chocolate pies, um, how many just gooey sweet treats. 
Um, you don't know how many like um, lasagnas and uh, you know kind of substitutes for pasta things with just tons of nuts. You know, tons of oil, tons of nuts, um, nut cheese, nut meat, and nothing against that. I mean, you know, I wish I had more access to that uh, where I could have that every once in a while. But as a whole, I just see too much, um, you know, gourmet. And I guess that's not for me to judge too much gourmet, but I'm just throwing it out on the one hand if, you know, you have some of the fully raw people that are a little bit holier than thou with their raw is the law, and, you know, they're always talking about these, you know, this chocolate pie, this version of carrot cake, this and that. And it's not, you know, I'm sorry. That, straight up, I could see, I, I see a clean cooked meal is way more beneficial to your body than putting some of that heavy stuff in your body. It's not, I could see, yeah, you might be raw. You better be able to still claim, oh, I'm 100% raw. Um, but... It's not necessarily serving your body the best. I mean, I would say that that cooked, like some steamed rice, steamed potatoes, some steamed vegetables, and a salad is going to digest better than that peanut butter chocolate pie or that heavy uh, raw vegan lasagna. Now, nothing wrong to eat that every once in a while, but I'm talking on, you know, a regular basis. Um, I just, you know, I think we got to really focus on staying clean. I'm going to do a little bit, I'm going to do a video a little bit uh, later on on, um, on every, you know, just on basically, let's don't focus on so much that we have different in this raw, ve raw vegan, raw to four health movement. Let's try to focus on, you know, the things that we have in common, the things that we can learn from each other. And the, the, the underlying message should always be, like we say, eating, eating a diet full of more whole plant-based foods. Plain and simple as that, just getting more fruits and vegetables in every day and getting more in every week, just continuously getting more in. Regardless of what you're eating um, at night of, or regardless of whether you're eating cooked or whether you're eating raw all the time, um, always, always strive for the cleanliness. Always strive for what is uh, going to digest the easiest in your body. Go for the, the simplest. Like I see a lot of cooked meals out there that are way simpler than some of these complicated raw um, uh, things. Whatever you do, don't get so caught up in the labels. I mean, you know, yeah, Rotho 4 is kind of a gimmick that kicked up, but I think in a way it's a good gimmick. I mean, you know, it's probably the name. <laughs> I doubt anybody just waits for the clock and starts eating at 4, but... You know, I think it's a good thing, but don't be caught up in if you're raw till four or if you're 100% and feel like you have to choose between the counts. If you're raw till four, maybe, you know, do you eat cooked food every day at four or do you eat cooked food every evening? You know, every once in a while, there are some good raw recipes out there. I would encourage you. I would encourage people doing raw till four to, um, you know, do some fully raw days just simply because, like I say, I don't, you know, I don't hold myself back and... I, I'm a little bit more susceptible to the cooked food after a two-week period of uh, eating it. You know, I didn't eat it every single day, but I ate a good bit. So I kind of have that little bit of it in my universe. It's in my mentality. Now, I don't have any cravings. As soon as I got down here, I haven't thought, oh, I really want cooked food. But it's still kind of, I smelled something yesterday, and I'm like, ah, that smells good. But slowly, you know, I'm getting back into uh, my thing of eating fully raw while I'm here in Costa Rica and I have I have the abundance around me so it's easy for me to do this like I can get my calories in you know there's people in uh, like I have people that watch me because they make comments and they ask me about things watch me in Canada um, I gotta think Canada Sweden part good, a lot of parts of Europe a lot of parts of the northern United States you know it'd be hard to do this thing hundred percent raw I mean, I can, I, how can I judge? I mean, I live somewhere where, boom, I can get, I can get a 2,000 calories of sugar, fructose, sugar, um, uh, fruit, before 10 o'clock in the morning, just because I've got access to that orange juice every day. I've got bananas just coming out of my ears. Um, so I can get it. I can do 100% raw, get plenty of calories and be fine. But there's a lot of places where you probably can't. And we have, the winter's approaching. Um, and I would much rather, as we're changing seasons, we just actually um, shouldn't jump ahead a whole, a whole cycle. We just came into the fall. But 
Well, but those are relative terms. The fall. There's a lot of places where you guys will be. Co you'll be cold in October. You'll be cold for sure in November. So, you know, if you have to eat some cooked food to get through the winter, do that to keep yourself from doing something crazy or letting it build up and you see you can't do it and then you eat, you know, you go on a bender or whatever and eat some really unclean stuff. So stay clean. Stay clean in the winter. If you got to have those, uh, if you've got to make soups, if you've got to have rice, if you've got to have potatoes to get calories in, get sufficient calories in to warm yourself, do it, but keep it clean. I would challenge you too, all of you fully raw, uh, raw vegans out there, if you're going to talk the talk and you're going to always talk about it, I do fully raw, I do raw, 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 keep it clean. You know, eat a diet that you can um, brag about if you're going to brag about it. Eat a diet that, um, that's not just, um, eat a diet that you're not just choosing for the label, but you're choosing because of what it will do for your body. It's not black and white, people. You know, like I say, I think this is hopefully this is going to play out. You know, on YouTube very soon, the whole even and it's it has died out to a large extent. The cooked versus raw. I mean, we're all in this to improve our health, and I would say we're you know as a community of of healthy eaters, whether you're vegan, raw vegan, striving to be vegan, striving to be raw vegan, striving to live the raw before lifestyle. We're just all trying to live as healthy as possible. And we have one thing in common that most of us that are doing it, even if we're not doing it 100%, or even if we're making mistakes sometime, we're still light years ahead of people out there living the normal way, eating this, the standard American diet. Anyhow, just my thoughts on that. Um, relative four is a perfectly fine and healthy way to live. Um, Always keep researching, always keep educating yourself, and always keep monitoring what you're doing right now does for your body. Make little changes, try something different, and see how those, th those changes um, work in your body and adapt where you need to. Um, don't be dogmatic. Don't have your mind fixed. Never have your mind closed to other ideas. Never have your mind closed to changing, exact, changing what you're doing. Never have your mind closed to uh, having to say you're wrong. There's no shame in saying you're wrong. I, 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 know, I find myself being wrong 20 times a day sometimes, but that's the only way to learn. When, somebody, when the ego gets in the way and we're unable to admit we're wrong or we just hold to things just because of that ego of I'm, I'm less than, I'm weaker if I admit that I'm wrong, this holds us back in our growth. Anyhow, whether you're eating 100% um, raw, relative four, whatever, do the best that you can. Try to live that lifestyle the best and the cleanest that you can. And be happy when you're eating. The way we eat our food has a lot to do with it also. Um, we must eat, I, I try to eat in gratitude every time I eat. Um, even when I was eating potatoes and stuff in the States, I ate in gratitude every meal. I, um, you know, because there's a lot of people around the world that aren't eating that. So I'll never get so caught up in this food that I, I'm not aware of this. No matter how much we go, you know, this is kind of a little, uh, little shishi thing we can do among the affluent places in the world. We, can, we have the time to sit around and split hairs over little minute things about diet and food when there's a lot of people there's a lot of this planet that isn't eating so it's all relative do the best you can be happy be healthy hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and i hope you'll subscribe to the channel and i hope you'll be back for the next one i love you guys good afternoon